Okay. So step one, putting that post on the business page. And that's what we're doing here. So just writing out this text, following the three, the three um, step formula, calling out the audience, telling the story, and then the call to action. And then once we're done, everything looks good. There's the image. We hit post. And now it sits on the page. And then we go to the back end and run the ad. So yeah, but don't we need um, something on here that points to that landing page? Yes. And good question. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to set that up right now. So we post it as a normal post. Um, and then we'll go into the back end and add the landing page link. Okay. So, and I guess you can add it here. This is new. So chat directly with customers. Go ahead and see if you can actually, that's only for send message. Yeah. We don't need that. So we're going to go in the back end and add a learn more button. And, and that's going to be the, the button that's connected to the landing page. Okay, cool. So we're posting it here. This is just how you want to do it from this point on is, is put it here first. And then you can always share it to your personal page from here if, if, if you know, if you wanted to or whatever, but um, it goes here first. And, and what's super, super important is making sure, so scroll down, let's look at it. What's super, super important, super, super important is, is, is obviously reviewing it. And that's why you kind of have me to be your second eye to make sure there's no grammar errors or anything missing. Because once we go in and set up the ad, which is what we're going to do in two seconds, we can no longer edit the text. Oh. Okay, so we always want to make sure everything is, is good now. So hello, homeowners in DFW. My name is Julian. I'm your local real after working with so many clients in the Parker County area. Many have the same questions regarding selling their home. Will the housing market crash? Should I wait to list my home? What's my home valued at? Because of these same questions, I put together a seller's guide that will answer all these questions for you. And, and, and I want to give it to you for free. There are a ton of buyers looking to purchase your home, but we don't have much inventory. We need you. Are you wanting to move out of state? Has there been a change in your family dynamics or are you just looking to start your new adventure? Being prepared to sell your home in any market is always wise. Following these steps in my seller's guide will give you that sense of ease and ready to proceed. Make sure, make sure you're getting top dollar for your home. Okay. So that kind of, that, Following, following the steps in my seller's guide will give, you, will give you that sense of ease and ready to proceed. That kind of doesn't sound right. Let's yeah. go back, hit the three lines, go into edit. Yeah, see, so little random stuff like this, we just always want to double check it or quadruple check it in this case before we go and set it up. So um, following these steps in my seller's guide will give you the sense of ease and have you ready to... And have you ready and have you ready to proceed or have you, or how can we word that? Um, we'll give you the sense of ease. To and, um, proceed with selling your home. And, and have you ready to, to proceed, sell. ready to sell. Um, sellers guy will give you that sense of ease and have you ready to sell. With, I'm thinking of some, I'm thinking of one more word after sell. Um, can follow, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me? Following this step to my seller guy will give you that sense of ease and have you ready to sell with, with, have you sell, have you sell with, I'm thinking of like, have you sell with confidence or have you, have you, have you ready to sell um, with, with, the, with something like that? So sense of ease and have you ready to sell your home at top dollar um, and then take away the last sentence, make sure you're getting, yeah. Have you ready to sell and make sure you were getting top dollar for your home? And make sure, perfect. Okay, cool. That that sounds better. Following the steps of my seller's guide will give you the sense of ease and have you ready to sell your home and make sure you are, have you ready to sell your home at top dollar? Have you ready to sell your home at top dollar? That sounds better. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ready to sell your home at top dollar? Let's get you started on your home journey today. Click learn more. Let's get you started on your home journey today, period. Click learn more to download your free copy. Perfect. So again, calling out the audience, 
telling the story, call to action. That's the ad copy. That's the text. Click learn more and bring that, bring that down. Click learn more for your free copy. Perfect. That's it. Cool. And then we save. Awesome. Okay, good. So I'm glad we, we reviewed that. Perfect. Sounds much, much better. So now we go to the ads manager. So let's go to our bookmarks. Um, and let's just simply go to ads manager. And let's just, let's run this ad. Awesome. Perfect. So as we come in here, right, as we come in here, we always want to make sure we're in that, we're in that right account, which it is the, and you see that at the very, very top, Julie Larwood Realtor 343. So that's the right one. And so this one right here, 891. So you got, so that's not bad. You took that light count up. What was that? $25 budget? Yeah. Yeah. See, so 25 took it to 891. Those are all, obviously all over the place, but at least we have that high light count. We, and that should have took you over a thousand, right? Likes. Um, it said 891 likes. Yeah, but total. Like how many do you have on the page now? Go back to the page real quick. Oh. Your business page, that tab to the left. Actually, the tab to the left. Yeah, there you go. So if you just scroll down to the right where the post is, just scroll down. You'll see it down here. So yeah, right here, right here. So yeah, so you just crossed a thousand. So perfect. So 25 bucks, go up a little bit higher. Right there, the thousand, thousand twenty. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So you're good. So you're good. So that 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 looks good. Okay, perfect. So let's go. And anytime the ad ends, it says completed, right? So it's off. It's not, it's not spending anymore anymore. But what you always want to do is shade the blue to gray. And there's three steps. So these are our three steps. As we go through the ad setup, these are the three steps that we're working with. These I call them tabs. You have your campaign tab, you have your ad sets tab, and then you have your ads tab. These are your three steps. This is what we're going to go through right now as we set up the ad. The campaign is simply the campaign tab is simply choosing our objective, which we're going to go into once we click the green button. It's choosing the objective and then and then making sure that you're choosing housing as well. That's the campaigns. The ad set is where you simply choose the targeting. So we're going to target Dallas, Fort Worth, or, or, or Parker County, whatever. That's that's the ad set where you're where you're you're choosing the, the area you're targeting and you're choosing the budget. And then you're also choosing where to place the ad. Do we want to place it all over Facebook? Do we want to place it on Instagram? That's the ad set level. And then the ad level is simply where we grab the post from the business page. We add the learn more button, we add the landing page link um and then and then and then um we just simply add it there so we don't have to write no text we don't have to put the image it's already on the business page we simply grab it and that's the third step the ads so as we go through that's what we're filling out here so in this case once it completes just shade the blue to gray so now you're, you shade it to, to gray on the campaign tab click on the ad set tab shade it to gray and then click on the ads tab and shade that to gray. That's how you fully turn it off. Now it's already off, but that's just, you wanna kind of get used to the color coordination. And whenever I see gray, it's off. Whenever I see blue, it's on. Okay. It's a little bit more easier to the eye. Um, so now X out at the top, one selected, one selected, one selected, just, or you can check the box to the left, but it's easy just to X out that blue, one selected. Yeah, X out that one, X out the middle one, X out the one to the right, and then, and then come back. Yeah, then now we're on the campaigns tab, perfect. So that's how you fully want to shut it off. Now, it, it it was it was it turns off automatically based on the calendar, and so that's why you never really have to worry um, about ads continue to continually running because that's sometimes I'll speak to clients like, "Damn, David, I just got smashed. My credit card just got hit for five hundred bucks." I'm like, "Did you know your ad was still on?" They're like, "No," and I'm like, "Man, that's why you want to set the calendar. Set the calendar so it ends automatically." But again, you still want to come in here and shade them to shade them to gray. So let's set this up. So we're going to go through these three tabs and it all starts with the, with the green button. <clears throat> so let's click on create. And then here we're going, and these are the different objectives, right? And I truly believe this is where everyone drops the ball, especially real estate agents or really anyone looking to capture leads. Um, they'll, they'll have an ad and maybe they go with traffic or they'll have an ad and they go with the engagement or they have a video and they go with video views. Like exactly what, what, what you choose here is exactly what Facebook's going to give you. So a lot of times people will look for leads. They put up a video, like for example, the Heather one, she put up a video. Her number one objective is to capture leads with that video, but she'll come in here and choose video views thinking that she wants thousands of people to view it. Because if we can get thousands of people to view it under video views, maybe we'll get some people to opt in. 
that's how most are thinking when it's like, no, you chose video views. So you're going to get 7,000 views and not one person's going to click because that's what you chose views or engagement. Engagement is when you see posts that have a hundred likes on it, like on the actual, you know, how you can click like on the post, not the page, the actual mm -hmm. post, you know, how you're just liking people's pictures or whatever. Yeah. That's engagement. So engagement is when a ton of people click like on it, a ton of people comment. Maybe you even have a, a ton of people share it. That's engagement. But then at the end of the, at the end of the ad, you're like, people will come back and like, David, I didn't get any, any, any leads from it. And I'm like, what objective did you go with? I went with engagement. And then I look at it and it's full of engagement, which are the likes, the comments and the shares, but not one lead came in. And that's the problem. You chose engagement when really you're looking for leads. So in this case, and traffic is, a, is the same, traffic is simply driving people to your webpage. So if you go with traffic, Facebook's going to give you exactly that. They're going to give you people that are likely to click and go to your page. But again, I don't want them to just go to my page. I need them to opt in. And that's why we go with conversions. So conversions is telling Facebook that, hey, we have a thank you page. We have a, we have a second page. And that's the page that we're trying to get people to. That's conversions. So that's what you're going to be going with um, 9.9 .9 out of 10 times. Is con actually, shit, I'm just going to say 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 times, you're going with conversions because we're looking for leads. So that's what we're going with here. So hit continue. And then as we go in, because you're real estate, uh, so creation method, choose a, choose how you, how you want your, okay, use the advantage. Of, okay, okay, so just go ahead and click continue. I've never seen this part. Facebook's always updating. I don't know why. It's like they're so, they were so perfect for so long. And then all of a sudden, changing everything. Okay, so, but it, it's just a different layout, but it should, it's, it's all the same. It's, it's just a different layout. So the name, here's what we want to do. We want to name, this is, and this is what you see on the dashboard. So the name, this is the campaign name. So here's what you want to title it. And this is how you really want, yeah, this is how you want to start titling all your, all your, all your, there's three steps, three campaign, three tabs, or not three campaigns, three tabs. Each tab has its own name. So this first tab, I would put, I would put something like um, headshot. So you're going to, you're going to kind of describe and this is just for you. This is not for, this is not public. This is just so you know, when you look at that dashboard, you know exactly what ad that is. Mm -hmm. That's the title of this campaign level. So headshot, um, headshot, maybe um, if this is the only headshot, then that's fine. But if you have multiple headshots, I would put headshot white background, right? So I'm super specific. I know exactly what image that was, right? But if this is the only headshot, then that could be fine too. Yeah, but, so okay, headshot, and then um, in parentheses, conversions. So, so again, you know exactly what the objective is, and you don't have to click on anything. You can just glance at it and know what ad that was. Headshot, conversions, perfect. So categories, you're always going to click on housing. So you're going to hit the drop down and go with housing. Real estate related, listings, homeowners, insurance, mortgage. So it's always housing. And then click out. And then now as we go down, um, United States, you can leave that. We're not targeting all U.S. We're just complying to the po to the privacy policies in the U.S. Um, we're going to narrow it in as we go down to your just your town, but that's fine. So website, scroll down, scroll down. So we're going to go website, and there is our custom conversion. There's our pixel, and then the box. Go ahead and click inside that custom that conversion event. And now what we're doing is we're looking for our custom conversion. Seller guide leads. That's what we named it. That's when, that's where, this is where we tell Facebook about the thank you page, right? That's what we're trying to get people to. Now we're going to tell them about the landing page as well on the next step, but that's where we tell them about the thank you page. So now we scroll down and now we have, we have budget. So we have daily budget and then we have lifetime budget. So if you hit the drop down on daily, go ahead and hit the drop down, you'll see lifetime. I always go with lifetime because every day the traffic is different on Facebook. It's not always a billion people on it every freaking day. Like it probably is, but, but, but it's, it's, it's plus or minus a few hundred thousand. It's not always the same exact number every day. So I don't want to force Facebook to spend this money. If you go daily, that's what you're doing. You're forcing them to spend the 10 bucks in this 24 hour period. 
Whereas what if the traffic fluctuates, which it does. So what I do is I just tell Facebook, spend it over a period of time. And that's what we did with the like ad. We went lifetime budget. And in this case, what I would do when, when this is our first ad. So the way I kind of set this first one up is you want to, again, you want to go back to what, what, what is our monthly budget? What is our monthly budget? And maybe just divide it by two and, or divide it by three. If, if we plan on running three ads this month over the next, today is, is, is day one. We have, we have 29 more days. So in this 30 day period, let's test, let's, let's test, let's test, let's test two different ads. So okay. whatever the monthly budget is divided by two. What is, what, what's the monthly budget? <laughs> um, what, what's the least amount I could do and see? Put, put, um, 10 times 10, put, put, um, put 150 towards it. Could you put 150 towards it? Yeah. Put 150 and then, and then in the calendar, you always want to set it for the next day. So set it for the next day, the 25th. And then, and then you want it to be, it's going to be, it's going to be your, this is, this is Eastern based on the clock, but it's no big deal. Go with, um, go with, go at 7 a.m. because that's 6 a.m. your time. So 7 a.m. So this is how you're going to always schedule your ads. Always the next day at 7 a.m., which is, which is, which is 6 a.m. for you. And then the end time, why don't you run this for, run it for 14 days, run it for 14 days. And then, and then we'll chat, let schedule a call or, or make a note to, to chat with me on, on the, on the 12th day. So we'll chat in 12 days from now. Um, to review this ad and 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 decide if we should leave it on or or turn it off, right? So if 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 we're going to turn it off, that that you want to kind of give for sure twelve to fourteen days to test the ad, um, mm -hmm. and and if leads are coming in, then maybe we leave it on. If leads are not coming on coming in, then we shut it off and we just and we we set the next ad. And so that's why you have to have a budget. And here's what I always want to, and again, it doesn't have to be the biggest, but here's what I always want to stress is that. Of course, we're looking for leads, of course. Like that's number one. That's the whole reason why we're doing this. We need listing leads. We need leads for sure. But what you always have to keep in mind and, and really understand is the fact that that's not the only thing we're paying for. Like what also is coming out of it is all the data. Mm -hmm. So that's worth something as well, which is these custom audiences. The fact that that, that X amount of people are now in this custom audience, which is what one custom audience that you have is, is um, those who engaged with a post or ad. That's one custom audience. Another custom audience that you have are those that landed on the web page on the, on the, on the, on the landing page, but haven't opted in. That's a second audience. And then your third one is obviously the ones that did opt in, but, but I'm not referring to that one because that's leads. So the, the, the two audiences that you're getting, that data is, is important because those are, those are folks in your local area. So we're paying for that as well. So even if a, even if 57 leads don't come in off of this one ad, we still got all that data that we're going to be able to leverage and show them another ad. And that's what you have to do. And that's what a lot of people don't do is a lot of people will get discouraged after eight days. They're like, damn, David, nothing came in. It's like, keep it, keep running it. Like you have so many people clicking. So many people are watching that video. These audiences are building now, after this one, if it flops, okay, well then shit, we just turn it off and we run another one. Again, thinking of the overall monthly budget and not, not caring, just, just, just trying to spend the money regardless. And that's what you, you have to do. Because again, if we don't do that, then these audiences are not going to build. The data is not going to be collected. And so that's what is the most important is these, the, the data, the data is what I'm trying to say, or is, is that's valuable as well. So here, February 25th to March 11, so 7 a.m. to 7 a.m., always the same end time, um, and then we'll scroll down, and then and then as as we move forward to ad number ad number two, ad number three, ad number four, and on, that's where the custom audiences go. So let's say for example, this was ad number four. Click inside custom audiences, that box right there. This is where you'll now be able to target your web page visit, your seller guide page visitors only. This is where you'll be able to target people who engage with any post or ad, right? Now we're on ad number two, for example, ad number three. Now we're retargeting those in those audiences, but we're not going to do it now because it's our first ad, but click out, 
and then and then if it was again if it was ad number two three or four or whatever what we would do then is we would click exclude so let's say let's say we're past the first ad and leads have came in now we have a few people in that seller guide click exclude now we have people in that seller guide lead audience so if you click inside that box you'll then exclude seller guide leads oh because we've already got them yes because we already got them on ad number one now we're on we got them on ad number one two and three now we're on ad number four yes for sure at that point i for sure want to be excluding those people that audience Right. So, so that's your custom audiences. That's what it's all about. In the future, you'll be retargeting all these people that are engaging and watching and, and all that, all these custom audiences you'll start including. Okay. So, so nothing there for now. Scroll down locations. That's where we're going to edit the United States. And we're going to um, put in, I would get super narrow. I, I don't, I don't know if I'd necessarily target Dallas Fort Worth, maybe target Parker County, like target, or maybe even go off X out of the United States, take that one out. So just X to the right. What, what you want to do is, um, yeah, you can just type. So search locations right there down search locations. So just click in actually down to you. Yeah. People living in this location is what you want. These are the four different options and each one is very different. So people living in this locations who were who were who were trying to target, and then click in search locations, click inside of that, and then you'll be able to type. Okay, so what I would do is I would get super super narrow. I would get super specific. I would put my address, and and if it's not my address, I'd put my neighbor's address, um, and I would go off of that address or maybe the office address, you know, go off of that address because Facebook's going to push you out fifteen miles. That's the minimum. We cannot we cannot target zip code anymore, and we cannot target a three mile radius anymore. That's what a lot of agents would do, and that's the most you know obvious. Is this is my farm? These are my two zip codes. I just want to target them. You can't really do that that anymore, but you can do it this way, where you're just simply going off of off of that. Now, was that a drop down or was that something you just typed in? I just typed it in. Okay, so type it in again and 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 go with the drop down. So let's see if we whatever can pull. So three, three, two, pleasant. Yeah, we always, always, always want to go with the drop down. So perfect, that one. Okay, cool. Now we see the circle, right? So that's that's your area. So here's the deal. What you what you want to stay focused on is that area. So as you run ads from this point on, it's that area. You're always, always, always targeting that area. Okay, or or a different one. If, but well, whatever it is, let's pick it now because that's going to be the one area. Yeah, that's right? it. That's it. Per perfect. That's it. That's it. So, so we're good there. So now scroll down. Um, Sorry. now we we cannot change age. We cannot change gender. Um, detail targeting is not necessary. Language you can you can go English all if you wanted to. Um, or you can just leave it leave it open, and then and then down here identity. There's your page Instagram account. Click on that drop down. Let's click on on that one. Um, and then, and then actually, you know, go back up. Cause one thing I did not see is the edit, edit placements, go back up. Maybe that's okay. Scroll down, maybe, um, click on try clicking on, yeah, this is a whole new layout, but it's the same exact thing. Scroll down, click on show more options. Let's see if it's, if it's there. Okay. So ask it. No, that's audiences. No, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. There's locations, detailed targeting. That's off language. Show more options right below. Right below languages. Um, scroll up. That's so weird. Where there's no there's no placement. That's weird. Normally you can go automatic placement or edit placement keep going is there anything lower yeah it's it's not the word now on the third step but yeah keep going all the way down all the way down all the way down let's see if it's if they moved it display link no just keep going keep going keep going keep going yeah that's weird they don't have it there's no edit placements anymore which is weird but that's fine that's fine okay so go back up unless i'm missing it but i don't think i am yeah so okay whatever that's fine but the, the what i'm referring to is 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 the placement where facebook gives you the ability to 
put it on Instagram only or mm-hmm. to put it on to put it on every placement on Facebook, which which every placement is the right column in the stories, in the video feed, in the in the news feed, um, um, in between different videos in the marketplace. Right. So these there there normally is that option where we can choose where to put it, but I don't see it here, which is very weird. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Then I would think that it's just defaulting to, to automatic placement where Facebook just puts it everywhere, which is which is fine. Um, okay, that's fine. So now let's just scroll down. So what we're looking for is, yeah, see, let's, let's scroll back up a little bit. There's the placement. So what we were looking at again was, I guess, some new version, but but uh, I don't know why the hell they change it all the time. So here's the placements. So if you go automatic placement, click on manual, automatic placement is leaving it, leaving everything checked, telling Facebook to post it everywhere, which you would think is, 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 is somewhat, is somewhat good, but put your consumer hat on. And I know you're just you and I'm just me. Like sometimes like when I put my consumer hat on, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of myself, but I'm a consumer. I know what the hell I'm looking at. Like I know where on Facebook, what grabs my attention and, and what part of Facebook I'm looking at the most. And what we are looking at the most is the newsfeed. We're, we're on our phone, we're on our, on our computer and we're looking at what people are posting. That's our newsfeed. Very rarely are we clicking on anything on the right very rarely are we, I mean, I know, I know millions of people are in the marketplace, but to tell you the truth, I haven't been there once. Um, now in this case, because you're selling, because you're actually promoting something, I would actually leave it in the marketplace. I would actually leave it there, leave it in the marketplace, uncheck Instagram feed, because when you run Instagram ads, and that's the power of this placement, that's why it threw me off. I'm like, where the hell is the placements? Because this is so important because for example, with Instagram, I want to run those ads separately. And that, that, that's, that's for, for, for really testing purposes. Like ad number one, I'm going to run just Facebook newsfeed. Ad number two, I'm going to run to only Instagram, right? Okay. That way I can see the data and I can see it separately rather than seeing it all bunched up in one. So here I'll uncheck everything except for newsfeed, Facebook marketplace, um, and really, that's it. Really, that's it. So we'll uncheck everything else. So this is edit placement. This allows us to just really tell Facebook where we'd rather have that ad. Um, and, and, and in my consumer opinion, all the attention is in the newsfeed, yeah. right? So, so, okay. so, so I want to kind of narrow in every dollar I'm putting in to that, to that area. That's edit placement. So again, if you would have went automatic, it just, and, and here's the deal too with automatic. So scroll back up. If you did go automatic, Facebook, go, no, down to the automatic placement, automatic placement. So Facebook, and it says recommended, even if we do go with automatic, which is not bad, but but this could be a form of testing as well. Two, two main forms that there's really three, but two main f- forms of testing that, that you and I will be doing is testing on the placements. One ad will do, will do manual. Another ad, you'll do automatic, right? And then that, that's one form of testing. Another form of testing are the images. Having five different images and letting Facebook choose which one is the one that hits, mm-hmm. right? Um, that's really, and there's, there's another third, a third form of testing, which is your, your, your keywords, but we're not putting in any keywords. You put the interest, which is the detail targeting. Um, watch, scroll, scroll, scroll up, scroll up real quick. So the detail targeting right here, that's where you would put keywords in targeting that interest, like homeowners, things of that nature. But that's only necessary when you're marketing nationwide or even 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 globally. Then I'd then I, then I want to narrow it in with with keywords and interest words. But if I'm targeting my local area, like I don't need to narrow anything down. I'm already narrowing it down enough. I'm targeting just 15 miles. So that's another form of testing, though, is when you when you tar- when you test different words. One ad will do homeowners. Another ad will do people who 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 have an interest in Home Depot or 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 do-it-yourself home 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 remodeling, right? There's so many different keywords that pertain to a homeowner, and so that's another form of testing. But again, when I go local, we don't really need to put those keywords. 
So, but I'm just explaining that's that's a form of testing as well as the keywords. So scroll down. So here we're gonna we're gonna go manual placement, and then we'll just go newsfeed and and marketplace. So we'll scroll down, scroll down, and then um, and that's it. So that's step two. So now now what we have to the left, to the top left, we have headshot conversions. We have 15322 Pleasant, and then now we hit next, and we go to the third and final step. And now over here, it's all about the ad and grabbing that 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 ad, which is which again is I don't see it. That's so freaking weird. I don't know why the hell they're doing this. So scroll back up. This is where right here in the ad setup. So go to an ad. Actually, no, you don't need to add Instagram. Um, but right here in the ad setup, this format, single image or video, carousel. The one that's missing is use existing post, which I don't know why, why, why it's not here. Like, I don't know why it's not here. As Facebook continues to make changes on us, I guess we'll just, we'll just do it this way. So again, this was option number two. And a lot of people run it this way. But again, I, 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 I don't just because I want all that social proof is what we call it when people are clicking and liking it and all that stuff. I want that to show publicly and I want it to be there forever. But in this case, we don't, I don't see that option. So we'll just do it this way. Post the text and then down. So perfect, perfect. So headline, um, download your free seller guide now. Download your free seller guide now. And then um, we don't need anything on the description. And then website URL, that's where your landing page link goes. So let's put that in there. So we just double click. Yeah, copy the whole thing, HTTPS and all that. Perfect. And then we'll paste that in there. And then we'll scroll down. And we don't need anything on, on the display link. That's fine. And then the, um, the shop now, hit that drop down. And then go ahead and go to learn more. So these are all the different options for the button, but learn more is the most clicked okay. button. So we'll go with that. And then website events, you see your pixel there, 1218. Um, and then offline events, that's that's green. Everything is green. So now we're good. And now we hit publish. So once we publish it, the reason why I always go with this, with the next day at, at 6 a.m. your time is to give Facebook plenty of time to review the ad. Um, so they'll, they'll review it over the next few hours, and then you'll get an email um, saying that your ad is approved and scheduled. So should I delete this post then? No, I'd leave it. Actually, I would actually leave it. Maybe but, put the link. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say I need to put the link. Yeah. Um, since you have it copied, go ahead and paste it in the comments. Or, or you can even edit it, edit there and just, yeah, edit it there and just add it there. Yeah, edit post and then let's um, click. Click here, click here to download your free copy. Click, click, yeah, click here to download your free copy. Or click here for your free copy, perfect. Save, okay, cool. Okay, so that's there for, for, for yeah, that's that's there for, 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 for now, that's fine. But I don't know why the hell we couldn't use this existing post. I gotta look into that. So let's go back to the ads manager. So now let's take a look at it in real time. So let's simply take away, take away the word um, ad at the top. So you just kind of, yeah, just take, take away that. No, 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 just the word ad, just AD, just take away that. Okay, cool. Um, and then hit publish the green one. Okay, cool. So now, now we're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to X out in the top left. So that little X, X that one out. So now we're back on the dashboard. So that's why when you, so click on campaigns, the campaign tab, at the top campaigns, so these are your three tabs. So now you see the title, right? So if, again, if we're not specific with that title, we'll have to click into it to see what the hell, what ad that was. And, okay. and that's that's too many clicks, I, too many clicks. But so titling it is perfect. And then now click on the third tab, the ads. Let me show you how to review, how to view that ad in real time on the ad, yeah, the third one. So now over here below, below the title, headshot conversions, you can just click on, right below that title, hit edit. So let's go ahead and click on edit. And then over here in the top right, you'll see you'll see share, that drop down share. And then just drop, hit the drop down and go down to Facebook desktop newsfeed. Facebook desktop newsfeed. And then over here, 
there's your ad in real time. Actually, let me see if that's the old one or the new. That, that's the old one. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You'll see there's, the, there's actually, yeah, actually, I don't know why that says sponsored. That's not the ad. Go ahead and um, X out of this page. Just hit the tab X and just do it again real quick. So at the top right, yeah, X out. And then do it again, hit share and go Facebook desktop newsfeed. Okay, cool. Now scroll down. There we go. There's the ad. Okay. So you see the word sponsored, right? You see the word sponsored. There goes your, your, your title. Download your free seller guide. Now we, we added that. There goes your .com. So click learn more. Go ahead and click the button. Takes you straight to the landing page where people can opt in. Now scroll down real quick. What, scroll down. One thing you're missing. Oh, I haven't, yeah, I haven't put those. Yes. yes. Yeah. You want to do that. Oh, yeah, I'll do yeah. that. Privacy right. policy, terms of use. Um, and really those are the most important, like you can add the other ones later, but, but try to get in the next hour, try to get the privacy policy and the terms of use, because that's what, that's what Facebook. So that that's what Facebook's reviewing. Facebook's reviewing. If there's a privacy policy on this page. Okay. Um, and in fact, real quick, let me have you add your privacy. Did we add it to your business page? Go to your business page real quick. I think we did, or, or maybe not X this one now. So you're good here. So we're good here. That ad is in review. It'll go live or it'll, it'll be approved in the next few hours. You'll get an email. So we can, we can X out of this. Let's go to your business page really, really quick. So pull up, actually just X out of this tab. Just X out. You already have your Facebook tab open. In fact, you have a couple of them open. You can close one of them. Um, let's just go click on, um, click. Yeah. Click on the business page. Click on more, the drop down more. I can't remember if we added this, but click on more. The drop down right at the top to the left. Where? More. No, in the middle of the page. There's that drop down, the word more. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Click on that and go to go to about. And then just scroll down to the very, very bottom. Go all the way down right here. Actually, I think you do have it there. So privacy policy, click on it. Go ahead and just click on the link. Yeah, click on it. Yeah. See, so we set that up for sure. There it is there. We're good there. But yeah, that that privacy and scroll to the very, very bottom. Of the, of the page go to the very 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 bottom so down here so you have you have you have terms of conditions you have cookie preferences um and then at the top you have the privacy you have a uh, fair housing act fraud alert accessibility statement or accessibility yeah and then dmca notice it's really for facebook compliance it's really the privacy policy and the terms of use um Okay, I'll you, add that as soon as we finish. Yeah, and if you and if you want, then you can maybe add the the Fair Housing Act and 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 the DMCA notice, um, if if you want, but nothing else. That's really all that's needed. Privacy policy, terms and conditions, um, and then maybe maybe the cookie per, cookie preferences, add that, and then and then if anything, the extras is the Fair Housing Act and the DMCA. Um, notice. Okay. But add that to the, to the landing page, to the opt-in page. Okay. Super, super important. So you have plenty of time, but actually you don't have plenty of time. Try to do it within the next hour. If you have, if you have a minute. Yep, I will. I'll do it. Okay. So that's the ad. So I just got thrown off with not being able to use the existing posts. I have to look into that because that's, that's, that's not a make or break, but that's, that's a, that's kind of how we always run ads. Um, but why don't we make a make a note? Because I think if you go to actually, you know what? I'll just do it on my end. Let's chat and same time work for you. Eleven a.m. Uh, as long as it's not on a Wednesday. Okay. So, in fact, let me just let me just double check this. So, if we go twelve days, so seven fourteen. Actually, it's a Monday. Let's chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 let's chat on the 8th on the 8th okay on the 8th which is a tuesday okay okay and we'll review the ad and we'll, we'll 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 make a decision should we leave it on let it run a little longer or should we shut it off and and set that new ad but what i want you to do is 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 that's that's the formula so that's that's the blueprint is 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 two ads a month every 14 days so one one new ad every 14 days all right i have or, two questions. or 15 days I have a couple questions for you before I let you go. Um, 
Well, number one, before I forget, can I get a receipt for the 500? You got it. I, I did? Yeah, okay, check it. Yeah, yeah, for okay. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so if I was to do another, so what I wanted to do was to try to do one by myself and then yes. have you look at it before, you know, it's published or anything. Um, Cause that's the way I learn is by mm-hmm. doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so if I did another ad, say I'm gonna, we have a digital moving guide. So, you know, say I do something to target uh, buyers or, or something. Mm-hmm. So I'd create a new landing page for that. Yes. For buyers. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. So for I need to, so I need to go in Wix and see how to have multiple landing pages. Yes. And what you can do also see if the, the option is there to simply clone the page, which is simply duplicating the page. Okay. So in my software, I have, I have one, I have one, I have two pages and then I can just clone it. And so everything comes, I just duplicate it. And then I just change the verbiage. The reason I'm asking, because see, this is my website. Julie Larwood Realtor.com and it's taken me to the landing page. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if that's where I was getting confused is if I had a second landing page, how's it gonna yes. know? Yeah. So what you would do inside of Wix, there for sure should be the option where you're choosing because what we did on this on this first one is we actually clicked a button to make sure that this domain was was what we were using. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know if you remember that, but but I, I remember that where you had to kind of switch it on. To make sure that this domain is is for this, because you had a second you had a second domain in there as well, right? So so this one is for this page. So as you go into that account, you should be able to create another page around that domain, and that second page it'll force you to add a different word. So it'll be Julie Julie Larwood Realtor forward slash buyers guide. Okay, okay. Uh, and then do you have do you have the steps uh, written down it's like a document? To create an ad, to create an ad, or do I just need I to go? Have, I don't have it written down, but I'm gonna send. I'll send you this exact video once we're done. Okay. So this exact video will walk you through exactly what we just did. Okay, and I think you've got uh, you've got other videos out there. I just thought if you oh, had yeah. some kind of document that you know I could do. Okay, step one's done, step two's done, that kind of thing. Actually, I don't have it written down, but but again, if you if you rewatch this one, that's exactly what you do. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and again, you're scheduling it. So if anything, just say, Hey, David, I just set up a new ad. It's scheduled to go to live tomorrow. Let's jump on real quick. I'll jump on with you anytime and to, to review it. It'd take five minutes just to see if you got everything connected. Okay. Right. So yeah. So just play to create new audiences and all that. Yeah. The audience, the, the custom conversion on the, on the thank you page of that buyer guide funnel, for example, the custom conversion would need to be set up. The custom audiences will need to be set up. Um, and really that's it. Um, the pixel is already on the page that's already created with, with Wix. So you shouldn't need to add that again. It should already be there, the pixel, and then just setting up the ad, those three steps, the campaign, choosing the conversions, choosing housing, the the okay. second tab, right. Choosing the budget. And there's nothing you can break. There's nothing you can mess up. So even if you clicked on a few different things, like it's not going to, Facebook's not going to charge you and you know, you're not going to get a bill. So you can't mess it up. Okay. Play around with it, try to set it up and, and then just let me review it for you. Okay. That sounds good. Cool. All right, Julie, I'll be a message away, but I'll chat with you. I'll chat with you on the eighth and I'll, okay. I'll, I'll set it on the calendar now. Okay. Thanks, cool. David. Thanks, Julie. Have a good one. Bye-bye.